Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome back to more Golden Sun. Last time, we did a sequence break, sort of. I mean, it's a side quest, so it's all relative, but still. And this time, well, we're doing... And this isn't really a sequence break. It's in, because we're in the same area, I think I can do everything on this island. Because there isn't actually much on here. It's the very start of a side quest. And that's about... And there's a few items and clues to some other side quests. And that's about it. So I'm gonna do this. Plus also... I plan on doing something else, but... Well, one thing at a time. My mom says there's this strange tower in Northern Cape of the Tundra. I was just there. Uh, yeah. Used to be you could sail to the other side of the Gondwins by skirting the coast of the Tundra. Now the whole area's got these rocky spires, just can't work a boat around them. Oh, you must be cold, dressed in those thin clothes. Come warm yourself by the fire. The fire has a pot on it that's... smoking. Hmm. Oh, wow. Way to be... wow. I have s used so much synergy he Oh, it's a lucky metal! That's useful. I still have the damn oil drop? Man. I need to get rid of that thing. Anyway. I... I'm gonna need mine to read. My darling penguin... Penguin... Yeah. Just... Anyway. Uh, so here's the trick here. Oh, no, I missed my timing. Ha! -ha! Jumping on floating pieces of ice. This, this is scream safety. Seriously, though, don't don't ever do this in real life. Uh, I'm on the wrong one. I was impatient. There we go. And over! Hmm. The log, of course. The log! That ought to do it. Mine read! Oh my leg, I can't get back to my dearest Pangus. What? Do, do you want me to push you? You actually do. What? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and use this nice, convenient stone here to do this. Because, yeah, that was a little bit ridiculous. So is this, actually, but, you know, whatever. Thank you so much for saving my sweet Pengulia. Pengulina? I'm gonna go with Pengulina. Allow me to give you this in return for your help. We got a pretty stone! Ah, That is actually a side quest thing. Um... <laughs> a shiny stone. So we're gonna give it to Piers. Actually, we should probably give it to... Oh, wow. You are holding hardly anything. Hmm. Still have that, still have that. I don't want to... that's... I shouldn't give that to him anyway. Uh... fire... This is actually better with... well... yeah, I'll give you... I'm not gonna use this anytime soon, so you can hold it. There we go. Balance! And that's pretty much all we were doing here. See? Quick! Our next stop will be at longer, but... wait. Am I going... no, I don't think it's actually faster. For a second, I thought I was going faster, but it doesn't look like that's the case. No, uh, we're going, um, is this the right beach? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, there is something here, I think, but I want to be a little bit further up. Actually, I say that, ideally I want to be all the way up. 
Because it'll be a lot closer to my destination that way. But, um, you know, just this once, I, I guess I'll walk the long way. You're gonna have to see the way back, so <laughs> I think this will probably be more interesting, make for more interesting viewing. I need to be on the other side, though. Yeah, because we can walk all the way up here. And also, I'm not 100% sure if the beach I want to take is actually open or not. It might be blocked. Yeah, I got 110 experience from that. I was getting over 600 experience from things on the in the tundra. That's a pretty damn good clue that I shouldn't have been there. We are going to this town that is right here. Guarded by a mere mad vermin. Yeah, there's totally a beach there. I just don't know if I can land on it. I think there might be rocks blocking it. I'm not I'm not 100%. Uh, oh, there's a thing over here. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'll come back to this. The very first thing I want to do... It, well, I should talk to people, actually. Doesn't get many visitors. Hasn't for a long time. I'd love to know a little bit what's going on in the outside world. Okay, first things first. I need reveal. If Yep were alive today, our village would be thriving. He brought us lots of work. There used to be a lot of pearl divers here in Yalam. I used to do some diving myself. Yep, they were all younger than me, but I still can't. <laughs> Reveal! None. Reveal! Nope. Yep had three different songs he used to sing. Each song was about a different situation. Sure! Oh? Okay, I want to know. No, I already had that. Hmm. Okay, those songs are definitely important for something. I'm gonna need to go talk to the children, probably, that were in the stop stump area. Which itself is probably somewhat important, but, you know, I'll gain one thing at a time. Reveal. Still nothing. Months? Wow. It's right in the middle of the rainy season, but it's... Ooh, that's bad. That is quite bad. <laughs> Found this huge bed of pearls and sold them in another town. Then he bought all kinds of things we needed. Cool. Uh, started complaining that he can't work lately. Sunshine? Who's Sunshine? Oh, he's the blacksmith. Okay, so... That's actually why we're here. Um... I mean, it's not the only reason we're here. We're here for several reasons, but the... But the re reason I want to do here before any other place is because the blacksmith is here. No, oh, well, that's too bad. He is a really good blacksmith. Uh, reveal. I mean, obviously, he's the only blacksmith. Nothing. Sell this thing. Uh, well, this is armor. I shouldn't buy stuff from you until after I've talked to the blacksmith. Uh, you might have a new artifact, though. No, you do not. Well, yeah, I don't want anything from you. I might want something from the armor guy, but not until after I've talked to the blacksmith. Uh, what about in here? Matt, this really makes me realize just how much they throw waters of life at you in Dark Dawn. Like, you get, you get at least one more of those from every single item shop you encounter in Dark Dawn. And it adds up. I have gotten zero so far in this game, and I'm not sure exactly how many in the first Golden Sun, but not very few. Okay, well, well, I need to come back here because I can't do that. Uh, that, that sucks. But I think this is the blacksmith house. Hmm. 
Ooh, it's a thing! Uh, really? I just got rid of you! <laughs> That's not doing any work right now, but I'm making some basic things for the villagers. Maybe someday I'll be able to smith unique weapons like my dad. That's why I keep practicing. So here's how smithing works. Yes, I do. You give him ro- Okay, first of all, there are some rusty weapons you can find. If you give them to him, he will forge them into new weapons. And they'll all, you'll always get a, the same specific one, and they're usually cursed. However, if you give them materials, then you get different things from the materials. And it's random what thing you get. I'm not going to save Scum to get particular thing, or particular uh, equipment from him. Having said that, most materials, one of the possible products is usually there's a, we a weapon, uh, a piece of armor, one or two, uh, yeah, so to do this we just need to leave the town and come back in. What, uh, what was it saying now? Usually there's one weapon, a piece of armor, uh, an accessory, most often a ring, but sometimes like gloves or boots or something, and then one other thing. The other thing is... The other thing usually isn't a weep on, but can be just about anything else. It's always equipment, though. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, awesome! I got a ring! I wanted one of those. Oh. It's not really a very good ring. But it's a ring. Actually, Shiba can Shiba can take it. I'll give the unicorn Oh, wait, poison. Okay, um You What? The Oh no, don't use it. Don't just equip it. Um I thought I had another ring. Is that actually the only ring I have? Okay, I guess... I mean, it's useless on you, so... I guess I'll give it to... Felix? No, that would be stupid. I'll give it to Jenna. Oh, she did have a ring! Oh, that's, that's much more useful for you, actually. Okay, in this case, I will equip this on Shiva, and I'll give the Unicorn Ring to, to Felix. There we go. And... I guess I'll give the Pretty Stone to... Here, you can have the Penguin's Pretty Stone, Piers. <laughs> okay. Now then... I don't really need to go in there. I should visit the inn. Reveal! Ooh, it's a thing! Oh, it's just money. Just a, that's, I bet you that's not even enough. Actually, I guarantee you that's not even enough to stay at the damn inn. 50! 60! Yeah. Just... No, that's so... That inflation is RIDICULOUS! Although, kind of think of it, you could probably judge where, what order they were intending you to do this in, based on the... Oh, there's a thing. Based upon the cost of... Uh, a uh, not equipment, well, maybe equipment too, but based upon the in cost in different towns. Hmm. Food for thought. Anyway. I want to come back here, because I probably want to buy some armor. Also, I want to sell the damn flame oil droplet. Uh, ooh. There's not much here. Okay, well, that's a clear-cut improvement. So... That's a clear-cut improvement. Hmm. And I need to double check what that actually does. Adam's close is just a boost to my synergy points, which 
that's a big enough defense increase that I'd rather have that over the synergy. Hmm. I need to check what the cap. Okay, the clarity circuit does something that I know that I want, but I don't remember. I need to check what this stuff does. I think the nurse cap I can get rid of. Um. This is just plain defense, so I can trade it out as well. Uh, wind power, I want to keep that, yeah. This, I think, is just uh, healing. Yeah. I don't care about that. So, do this. And this. But the other thing is worth keeping. The, uh, the circulator, whatever. The only thing he teach me is how to sail and how to sing. Okay. So I totally can't go over on that left part right now. Reveal! Oh, I was already in here, wasn't I? I totally was. Okay, so now I guess I'll go learn how to sing song with the kids. This looks like a thing to me. Hmm. This is a course. Sure. Oh. If you want to go to the stars, if you want to go to the stars. I'm not actually singing. Go north past the twins. Past two... Oh, I remember what this is for now. I remember what this is for now. I guess each song is probably for getting to a different location. Okay, so. No thank you. Here's what this is for. To get to Lemuria, there's the fog and the currents and the rocks. This tells you how to navigate to reach Lemuria. That's the purpose of this. Having said that, you can to there are no monsters in that area, and you can totally just do it on trial and error. You may- yeah. This is- this being Lemuria. I think. I'm pretty sure this is Lemuria. And you don't really need the song anyway, because you just need to basically follow the arrows. It shows at the starting point, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's what this is. This is to teach you how to get to into Lemuria. And it's actually a really clever way to do it. But it's, un it's actually unnecessary. I'm gonna do it by pretty much trial and error and maybe a little bit of memory. <laughs> actually, having said that, I have looked at this, so I might just remember this. Who knows whether I'd be doing it off of my memory of previous playthroughs, or memory of just lo recently looking at this thing. It shall, for it shall forever remain a mystery! But I digress. Um, I just want to go up here to check the beach. Yeah, I totally could not have landed here, so I, it was the right thing to land where I did. Now then... I... I'm not sure if I can actually get to... wait. Oh, I totally need to go up. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. I need to go this away. Now, yeah, I think I'll just go to where I'm going next, and then, yeah. Well, well, we'll see. The enemies are not really dangerous here. Actually, these are all throwback enemies to the previous game, so... I know about where I am in relation to that power level-wise, or I would if I remembered where I actually fought Mad Vermin in Golden Sun 1. <laughs> hmm... As is, though, uh, let's see, Blaz is what? I didn't really have a lead up to that, actually. I just sort of said it and I hoped that I would have something else to say when I finished saying it and and it didn't really happen. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I guess that happens. That, that happens to people, right? <laughs> Whatever. Let's just kill you guys. 
like so. Oh, the wolf was not in Golden Sun, the first one, though. That's a this game enemy. Bam! I hope that I'm going the right way, actually. Like, I might have... Hmm. I know the thing I'm going to is somewhere in this area. But I might have been able to reach it from this beach. I legit don't know. Um, I, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. The undead and a numb ant. I assume that it's called that because it, it is numbing as opposed to it being numb. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit further. Uh, uh, oh. Is there... Oh, no! There it is. Oh, you're new. Sort of. And... Resist... Earth, it seems. You know, it occurs to me, actually, I should swap their staves around. Uh, she has more luck, so she gets better unleashes. So she'd have the ones deals more damage, and also, Jenna sucks at water synergy and he's using a water element one. Shiba sucks at earth synergy and he's using the earth element one. Actually, I say that her earth power is totally one point higher than her water power, and it appears to be the same case for Jenna, except reversed. Hmm. Well, okay then, I guess I won't swap them around. Oi. Anyway, we're at the Taupo Swamp, which we'll explore next time. Until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!